Hello class, Professor Anderson here. Let's take a look at a couple uh, conservation of momentum problems. Uh, let's look at a, uh, a problem of a head-on collision. So in a head-on collision, what happens? You have a car, we'll call that M sub A, heading towards another car. Call that M sub B. And they have some speeds. This is VA and this is VB. Now let's make the caveat that after this collision, everything has come to a rest. So car A gets crumpled. Car B is crumpled, and everything stops. All motion stops. So this is our before picture, and this is our after picture, and the velocities here are all zero. Let's see if we can understand this from the point of view of conservation of momentum. So conservation of momentum tells us that the initial momentum has to equal the final momentum. This is all in one dimension, so it's not too hard to picture this. What's our initial momentum? Well, we have m sub a times v sub a. That car is moving to the right. We have m sub b v sub b, that car is moving to the left, and so we put a minus sign on it. And all of that has to be equal to the final momentum. But the final momentum in our picture is zero because nothing is moving. So this just adds up to zero. So let's say we want to solve this equation now for vb, okay? How do we do it? Well, we add to the other side this second term, and now we can divide by m sub b, and so we get vb is equal to m sub a, v sub a, all over m sub b. So if those masses were exactly equal, then car a moving at v sub a car B would be moving at the same speed V sub A. And that should make sense to you, right? If two cars that are identical come together at the same speed, final velocity is, of course, zero. If car A is a lot heavier than car B, then VB would have to be bigger than VA in order for this to work. And that should make sense to you, too. If car A was a semi-truck, and car B was a Honda Civic, car B would have to be moving a lot faster in order to get that semi-truck to come to a stop. All right, hopefully that one is clear. Uh, if not, come see me in my office. Cheers.